awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might need it. We've got work to do tonight, so get up and get going to Tallenberg as soon as possible. You need to rouse Sir Divish and his men for the attack. We'll meet this evening at the Stronghold and settle up with that sly bastard. Can I, uh... Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Listen up, man. I need to set off as soon as possible to get the town no message. Easy or they won't arrive in time to help us at I want every last one of you standing here in full armor and ready for action by sunset. God preserve you, good. I'd like to make so what if proper bar. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah.
Yeah. Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father, from Sir Radzig and Hanish. <laughs> I take it you've heard. What does your father want from me? I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and father and Hanish have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all our recent troubles? You may have met him. Istvan Toth. No, I haven't met him. But Sir Radzik said he'd been here to visit before... before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. What kind of man is he? What is he after? He's in the service of King Sigismund, and he's fighting the nobility who support King Wenceslas. They've amassed quite a force at the old stronghold above Sassau, and they're planning to attack very soon. Father and Hanush have decided to move first and destroy him before he's prepared. Oh. For Christ's sake. When? And how? Tonight. They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Vranjik. This is madness. <sighs> Maybe it is. But I fear that Radzik and Hanish are right. The sooner we cure this pestilence, the better. Gather the men and make ready. We march tonight. Leave only as many as you must to guard the castle. Very well, sir. As you command. Will you be coming with us? Yes, sir. I have some scores to settle with them. to miss the show. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. What news? Did you parley with them? <laughs> we did. And what was the outcome? <laughs> Not quite what we hoped for. Radzig wanted to go parley with them in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. <laughs> it seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing, too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the countryside. Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. What do you want to know, exactly? Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half-demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. 
and that's where Toth spaced him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be fifty, maybe three score, most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least eighty. Huh. We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though, even if only by a few men. And our men are well-armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other sides? The east side is all rocks, so no hope of launching a major assault from there. On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste. The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gate, and they won't have enough men at the rear. That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no less from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. And we have quite a few archers. <laughs> you don't do things by halves, Divish. So, I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. That shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robot and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Listen up now. We are about to meet the rabble that have been trying to hurt us. Pillaging, killing, raping, and generally being a thorn in our side for long enough. They may be hiding behind a stockade, but they are still a pack of curs who are no match for men like you. And tonight, we are going to festoon these trees with corpses. First, we will set fire to their little hornet's nest. Then we'll keep them busy by the gate. And when we've made it nice and hot for them, Sir Robard and his men will pounce on them from the rear. And we will hack them to pieces. Have you got it? Yes, sir. Good. Now, when we reach the ramparts, the archers will cover the men climbing it and the men with the battering ram. Any of these fuckers foolish enough to stick his head outside the stockade is to lose it at once. Understood? Yes, sir! Glad to hear it. Now, let's do it. Forward!
Go to the van and flush out anyone left around the tents. We don't keep up on us from behind. You men, over there, go with it. The rest of you, warm up and go to the top gate. Isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command! It does rather look that way, Hanush. Henry, where's Top? You said he was here. He definitely was, sir. I've got the cuts and bruises to show for it. You have to find out where he slithered off to. Look for clues. 
Anything that will tell us what he's doing. Sir, this was all I could find. A letter? What does it say, Ratzig? Alongside hunting, drinking and swordplay, you might find time for a little study, old man. In the courts of Prague, every Tom, Dick and Harry can read nowadays. Yes, well, here in the countryside, we don't give a tinker's curse about such things. Huh. That's what I've got a scribe for, anyway. What does the damn thing say? It appears to be written by Toth, but it doesn't say to whom. It says everything is going according to plan, and the castle should soon be taken. Castle? What castle? What does he need a castle for? Sir, we took this one alive. And it seems he's not just some ordinary spear carrier. Where's that rat Toth? Where did he go? Speak, damn you! <sighs> he's thwarted you again, hasn't he? <laughs> If you play your cards right, you might come out of this in one piece. Where is your lord? He was here yesterday, wasn't he? Come now, sir. We both know where I will end up. <laughs> My lord is gone. He took most of the men and left. Where is he gone? What is he planning? He writes here about taking some castle. Which castle? <laughs> oh, some nearby castle. Left completely unguarded. Now I wonder where it could be. <laughs> what are you saying, you horse son? Talmberg. Did he go to Talmberg? <laughs> You'll never get him. You'll never get. You're planning on sending him to some monastery to become a monk? I believe we have some work to do, Sir Divish, do we not? Mount up, gentlemen. You don't have any time to waste. Greetings. We... we were ambushed. We need assistance. We have wounded men here. Open the gate. The Lord be praised. Here! Come on! Lady Stephanie, I, I really don't think we should... My lady. Master man! Come on, master! My men are gravely wounded. Without treatment, 
I'm afraid they won't live to see morning. Not to worry. We'll take care of them. My lady, you have my uttermost gratitude. May God reward you for your kindness. Every Christian should help his neighbor in his hour of need. True. Especially now, when treachery and deception surround us on all sides. Get out of the way! The devil lurks in the shadows. Come on! And one fears taking a guest into his house.
Not you, rat! Come out and fight like a man! <laughs> I don't think so. I like it better right here. Would you rather hide behind my wife like some mangy whelp? I could just as easily cut her throat! I have hostages enough. And strong walls to protect me. Bring him here! Radzig? What do you want, you viper? Let me think. Oh, actually, there's nothing I want from you. Except maybe to see you all die. Fire! Burn it down! Christ. Uh, are you all right? Uh, I'll live. Oh. Whew. But I don't think I'll be wielding a sword for a while. Oh, we have men enough for sword wielding. A good lord is harder to come by. How the hell did they get Radzik? I didn't make it to the gate. He was charging against reinforcements from the castle. We have to save Sarab, my father, somehow. And we have to save my wife and get our home back. My friend, I think you know as well as I, we have to lay siege. No. No, that is our last resort. We have to try all our other options. Sir, if a few men could scale the western wall after dark, maybe they could get inside, free the hostages, and open the gate. That is, if they're holding them in the courtyard, as we've always done. Well, that's a big if. What if they're seen and they can't raise the portcullis quietly? Sir Hanish, if we can save just one hostage. It's a perilous undertaking. Who would you send? I'll go. Then let us make ready. I'd better get ready for the night raid. Some light clothing would be best. Dark colours. Look what I've got. You'll love this.
I must reward you for saving my livelihood. If folk believed the stories, well, I dread to think how it could have ended up. But the bad stone wasn't even from your quarry. Still, sometimes words can hurt a man more than a blow from a mace. Here's your reward. You've earned it, lad. See you later. I'm ready. Are you sure? You should wear lightweight black clothing. Anything you don't need, you can leave here. I don't want you clanking around in plate armor. Yes, I'm ready to go. Take care. If any of you are having second thoughts, this is your last chance to speak. Very well. So I hope we're all clear on what has to be done. We need to free the hostages to deprive Toth of his advantage. Now he'll be keeping them somewhere where they can be guarded, but somewhere separate from his other men. And where would that be? We always kept our captives in the house on the bailey by the stables. Uh, what if they're in their tower or, or somewhere else? Then we'll have to go to the gate and try to open it. But that will take time and attract attention. So we can only do it if we know exactly how things stand. And if they sound the alarm, before we've done anything, we get out of there quick. Understood? And leave them there? Better a couple of hostages than a pile of corpses. Lord Capon, are you quite certain you want to engage in this action? Quite. After all, it can't be much different from sneaking out of the upper castle in Rate and back in every night. <laughs> Besides, who else will keep this hothead from raising bloody mayhem? Well, see to it that you do, my lord. May God guide our footsteps.
We'll go first and take out the sentries. Wait here. What are they waiting for? Quiet for fuck's sake. What are they waiting for? How should I know? Why do I bother asking? Oh, be quiet and watch that light on the battlements. <laughs> I'll put on his armor and watch this side, but there are still two guards on the Port Callus winch to deal with. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. Henry then. Just make sure. lead to the courtyard. All it takes is for one man to go for a piss and he'll see us. Easy now. We're almost there. Let's not fuck it up at the eleventh hour.
patience. He has to move. Jesus, get a fucking move on, man. We're Sir Ratzik and Lady Stephanie. L Lady Stephanie? She's not here. She must be held somewhere else. Where? Where is she being held? And where's Sir Ratzik? I suppose the lady might be in her chamber. We don't know anything. They herded us here and told us not to move a muscle. Farewell. We'll have to go back empty-handed. I really thought we could pull it off. We're not going anywhere. Not without my father and Lady Stephanie. And how are we meant to find them? They're not in the stables or anywhere nearby. You want to creep right inside the palace where Tot's men are everywhere? Yes. We can't leave them in Toth's hands. It was hard enough getting this far, but going inside is madness. What good will it do them if we get caught? Then we mustn't get caught. Listen, Hal, I can appreciate your stubbornness, usually. But this could cost us our heads. At least we save those other people. I told you, I'm not leaving here without the hostages. If you're determined to be a stubborn ox, go right ahead. I suppose you might as well look for your sword while you're at it. No point leaving the job half done. Save your speeches. Are you going to help me or not? If you want to get yourself killed, you can do it alone. But before you go raising bloody mayhem, give us time to get out of here. Come on, then. Let's get the fuck out of here before they catch us. Gorova! Fuck my ass! I have to carry him out of here right now. Gorova! Fuck my ass! Hey, all of you, gather here! You can't get a move on. They'll stab you in the back, right under my nose. Faster! This isn't very comfortable. Can't you stop hopping around with me? My arse is killing me. Run, for Christ's sake, and don't shake me so much. Quick! I have to admit, we didn't do too well. True. The shame of it. They drove us back before we even got anywhere. It's worse than if they'd killed us. Well, I wouldn't go that far. We had to give it a try. If we succeeded. If pigs had wings. Now, I know it troubles you, but it's not over yet. We'll rescue the hostages and hang that bastard Ishban. 